Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Rathos is glaring out at uh, Lake, uh, Lake whatever the hell this is called. I've forgotten. It's been a while since I looked at a map of Skyrim with all the names written on it. Anyway, we just got out of Bleak Falls Barrow and it's the middle of the damn night, so we're going to be making our way back to Riverwood, I think. Um, it's also pretty cold, so we should probably make our way back there as soon as possible. How much gold do we have at this point, by the way? 238, not including all the stuff we're going to sell, of course. Which means we can certainly afford to stay at the inn for tonight. Rather than uh, waking up Gerda and her family in the middle of the night. Did you just hear someone shouting? Who the devil are you? Too bloody relaxed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... Okay. <laughs> Greetings. Let's flick his nose. What in his name? Uh, what are you doing here? Can't I get some shut eye without someone creeping up or a dragon appearing? What would a dragon want with someone like you? You'd be surprised. It seems I can hardly walk down the road without one of those damn things crashing down in front of me. It's bad for fishing, I tell you. They can sense the evil in the skies. Makes them harder to catch. Uh, work, is it? That's one word for it, I suppose. Fishing is a very serious occupation, I'll have you know. People have cut their hands on the wire. I was even bitten by a slaughterfish once. It must have been difficult getting a scratch like that. Flattery won't get you any more of my delicious fish, I'm afraid. If you have a spare rod and chair on you, you're welcome to stay in my presence. I've got ours. And hours, and hours of fishing stories to tell. No. No. Fast Thethis does like a bit of fishing. Not with this fellow, though, I think. Is it just me, or is it getting brighter out there? No, I don't think it is, actually. I thought maybe dawn was approaching, but I'm not sure. I think the horizon line is just a little bit... Uh, Brightly colored, but if you look straight up, you get that gorgeous night sky with all the stars that unfortunately blur a little bit whenever I move the camera. Skyrim has this weird sort of uh, blur effect, and it's always had this for as long as I can remember. But the whole screen kind of gets blurred a little bit every time you move. It plays merry hell with the encoding when you're trying to make a video out of it. Okay, who the devil are you? Another lunatic out in the woods. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. I see. Now, well, moving on then. Something doesn't seem quite right about her, but I'm not going to pry for now. It is quite a night nice sky, isn't it? Ah, an enchanting table. I didn't know there was one here in Riverwood. This is rather handy. Whose is this? Who in this dump needs an enchanting table aside from me? Most peculiar. Still, let's make use of this, shall we? And disenchant that ancient Nord war axe of chills. There we go, there we go. I'm surprised that didn't earn me an enchant level up, frankly, but okay. Where's my enchant out of curiosity? I bet it's rubbish. Fifteen! Goodness me, yes. And it seems like disenchanting that provided virtually no progress as well. That's a little disconcerting. I always... I guess a mod must have changed it, but I always thought enchanting was one of those things you could level up super fast by just disenchanting a bunch of uh, items. Maybe something's changed that. I really ought to actually pay attention to what the mods I install actually do, shouldn't I? <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa! Jesus Christ, man. It scared the crap out of me. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Do you know anything about the meaning of the word personal space? From the college? No, I'm not from the college. Be gone. Goodness me. Oh, alchemy bench. Take advantage of that as well. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Where's the innkeeper? Out. She owns the place. She does what she wants. So how do I rent a room? Inn's closed. Bar's still open, though. Feel free to sit and put your head down on the table for as long as you like. I won't bother you. Well, that's nice of you all. Now, unfortunately, because of the way the damn game works, I can't just sleep at the bar. I actually need to use a bed. Um, it's annoying. Can I use the alchemy lab? As long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Mm-hmm. Do you know anywhere, anything about learning more magic? Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up, too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Mm-hmm. Until next time. Skyrim seems to be sadly devoid of any kind of... Magical institution that isn't this blasted college all the way up in Winterhold. All right, uh, actually, before we use this, I'm gonna have to actually sample these damn alchemy ingredients, aren't I? Uh, let's see, right. Boop, 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 boop. Not salt. There we go. I don't like to identify the salt because I don't want to accidentally use it in a potion when I should be using it for cooking. Uh, right, okay, so I can make damage stamina poisons right now, and that's about it. It would appear, unless I start mixing stuff at random. Although I can't really access the menu right now, because these damn drop-down pop-up thingies are kind of in the way. I can't really see what I'm doing. Right. Ingredients. Uh, we could start mixing stuff at random, I suppose. Oh, there you go, fortify conjuration. Fortify health. You can't mix the mountain flowers together, can you? That never works. Uh, don't use the salt. Ah, there you go, damage health. What about the purple one? Nope. Alright, so I can make some Fortify Health if I want to as well. I don't know if I actually use that, might just sell it. But it's alchemy skill, isn't it? So, in fact, this was reasonably good at making potions, if I recall. He didn't do it super often. He, like, it wasn't a huge focus for him, but, you know, he had a Grandmaster Alchemy set and all that. All that came with it, you know. So, uh, he definitely did some potion making in the Morrowind LP. Alright, well, apparently we can't stay here, so, uh, that's a bit of a shame. However, uh, I believe, yeah, there's like a whole downstairs area to this inn now, which is pretty sweet. Can't sleep in any of these beds and whatnot, but, uh, it's kind of cool. This has all been expanded by mods and things. Look, they've got, like, a little sauna in here as well, you know. It's, it's kind of fun. I like it. I don't think it's all particularly functional. I don't know if you can actually rent any of these rooms, but, um, you know, it's cool that it's there. I just, I like that sort of stuff. Just extra bits of buildings and things for the sake of having them, even if they so serve no real gameplay purpose. I just, it tickles me. I like that. Morrowind had a lot of that going on in it, you know? Um, actually, let's, let's have, some, have some, a bite to eat, shall we? Rabbit haunch. Wow, have I really gone through all of my food? I guess I have. I'm gonna have to cook some more. Or buy some more, more likely. I don't think I've got that much salt on me, so... Right. 
In the fullness of time, I'll have to get camping gear and, you know, portable cooking pot and all that sort of stuff, so... Uh, not yet, though. It's, uh, eventually, obviously, going to become clear to fa- Going to become clear to Fabis, but... <laughs> he's not going to be able to get back to Morrowind as he's currently planning to do so. Uh, in which case, yeah, he's going to have to start worrying about staying in Skyrim long term, potentially. And that's the point at which camping gear and whatnot will become... relevant. Yeah. What a sorry looking specimen. This person is heavily injured. Give a healing potion, use a restoration spell, do nothing. Shouldn't have got yourself wounded in the first place, should you? Blasted Imperials. Better luck next time. Not having any of my healing potions. I believe that random encounter was added by a mod as well. Ah, hello, White Run. do look rather impressive in the distance, actually, I must admit. I just ran straight into a tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've nearly done that in real life a few times, you know. You know what? The, the, the grass mod is delightful. It's wonderful. It adds all these lovely flowers and things. Unfortunately, though, I keep looking at them and thinking I can loot them, but I can't. If you see me staring randomly at flowers like that for no apparent reason, it's because I'm hitting the E key trying to pick them up. <laughs> Air is chilly here. Out on the tundra. I like tundra cotton. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's interesting. The night skies kind of change colour now around the tundra. I wonder why that is. Seems to be slightly biome dependent, you know. It does look amazing now, though, doesn't it? My god. That's definitely more like the Morrowind night no, sky. Which constellation that is? Looks like it could be the Warrior, but I'm not totally sure. Anyway, let's get back in White Run. Let's get to the Bannered Mare and let's get some sleep so we can level up. And then in the morning, let's go and pay a visit to Mr. Farangar. Alright folks, welcome to the level up screen. We've just gone to sleep at the Bannered Mare, uh, in case you were curious. Uh, Magico Health Stamina, Magico Health Stamina, ooh, Magico I think. Oh, we've leveled up more than once, have we? Magico again then. Okay, uh, let's see. Perks, 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 what would we like? Uh, making sneaking a bit better would be nice. go with that and maybe something magic related for when the sneaking fails uh, okay yeah destruction spells cost 35% less magic and destruction spells are 0.25% more powerful per level of destruction so that's good in the vanilla game um, your, your destruction magic damage with certain spells caps out eventually because it's not based on what your actual skill skill level is. But uh, with this with this mod, it is. I think it's ordinary. It's that I forget exactly though. Right, lovely. Um, standard stuff. And yes, we awake and feeling well rested. It's actually quite late in the day. It's eleven thirty one a.m. because it was like five a.m. by the time we finally got back here. Uh, oh, gone the wrong way. So, let's um, have something to eat. I cooked some salmon steaks before um, oh, the fire. The, the, the light, light's being weird because Mikhail's standing on it for some reason. Oh, let's get out of here. Strange Nord standing on fires and not getting burned.
Clearly wearing a resist fire amulet or something. But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. No. I'm quite healthy, I assure you. As a matter of fact, Fathis as the Nerevarine was completely untouchable when it came to disease. Uh, thanks to that old potion Divathea gave him, um, he was basically rendered ageless and immune to disease because, uh, well, basically he had corporous disease, but the potion that he took during the main quest of Morrowind removed all the negative side effects of the disease while still actually retaining it, I think is the way it generally worked. Um, which, you know, corpus disease has a t spark, little spark of the divine in it, you see. And as a result, it made him basically immortal. However, having been thrust back onto Nern in a brand new mortal shell, um, I suspect this will no longer be the case. Fathus will no longer be ageless, and he will be quite susceptible to, to disease, and I imagine that will probably come as a bit of a, sur a surprise when it eventually happens. Now then, where's this Falangar fellow? Ah, oh, he's in here. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Bah, yes, the Jarl's protege! Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. All right. Is that Don't it? the dragons reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Remember. That's that then. Mind, Very good. The okay. You have. Who's this woman? Strange, not at all conspicuous looking woman in a hood. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I've got my eye on you. I wonder who these employers of hers are. Well, frankly, all of this dragon business is none of mine. I've got places to be. And by places to be, I mean I need to go and sell some of this crap I found in the barrow. Hopefully the Nords aren't going to get too uppity about where I found it. And uh, for that matter, once I've got the money, off to Windhelm, I think. Running water straight through the street. That doesn't seem sanitary somehow. What's this anyway? Shrine of Talos, eh? I must admit, he was a bit fatter and balder the last time I saw him, but, uh... Very well. This place seems like the sort of establishment I'm after. I'm assuming you'll buy, buy something off me more than clothing or crockery. Or stuffed m moose heads? Elk? Deer? What is that? I'm not sure. Please do look around. I'm sure I have something you'll want. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on, on the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Mm-hmm. What are you doing in Skyrim anyway? You're a Breton, yes? Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this 
frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. <laughs> I like you. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Right then, let's see. What is, what's he got? Ah, tents and things. Very good. Uh, I'd like to sell, though, first and foremost. I think usually I'll do the selling and whatnot off screen. Tends to get rid of these cards. They're quite valuable, but you know what? I'd like to collect them all and see what happens when I get a full deck. So maybe not for now. They're curiosities, which, as far as Fathis is concerned at the moment, he's probably going to put in his private collection back in Teluverith, well, along with all the other stuff. Um, you know this, though. And both of these. And let's sort by value, shall we? That would be the best thing to do, I think. This painting, for now, yeah, I'm going to sell paintings for now, even though I know they're going to be useful later on, I think. Um, both of these book I'm pretty sure he's already got a copy of Thief in his uh, library in Tel Aviv as well we're used to anyway it's quite an extensive library that was uh, this as well probably never going to drink this wine so I can go Uh, wolf pelt, iron ingot. I don't even remember picking those up. I mean, goodness me. Where on earth did I get them from? I suppose that arrow got stuck in us at some point. All right. Do come back. I'm not interested in buying anything for the moment. Just wanted to make a little, little bit of extra cash. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. I just noticed that, like, what of my there's like red s spots on this cloak. I'm not sure so why. Going for a fellow down on what is that? Is that like a pattern or something? Or is that supposed to be like a blood decal? What's going on there? A little red spots on it. The sooner you accept I guess wrong, it's just the pattern. Find a more Strange. No, anyway, I'm just I'm just gonna head back up here because I've I've kind of it has occurred to me just just now that we never actually got a reward for returning the Dragonstone, and I'm a little bit peeved about that. Um, I wasn't I must must confess I wasn't entirely paying attention there, and maybe, maybe perhaps Fathers wasn't either. Perhaps his mind was elsewhere. But uh, like uh, wondering who that strange Breton woman was, but uh, it has occurred to him that actually nobody's paid him yet. So um, where's the damned yarl? I want my money or something. Where is he anyway? I wish to speak to Yarl Balgrove. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Not now. Oh. Not now. Stiffing me, are you? Whitefront will be greatly in your debt, you say? Well then, let's just see if I can exact myself a reward. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Just pocket one or two things Ugh, impoverished petty nobility got nothing worth bloody taking you know what we'll leave this for now because uh, I think I think that perhaps Fathis is considering doing a bit of breaking and entering the next time he's in this neck of the woods. Oh wow, look at the kitchen. It's a lot more impressive than in vanilla. Um, where's this guy? Standing around is rubbish. We should be Dragon's Reach Dungeon. Well, that's clothes. certainly a way in, isn't it? If only one could find an alternative way into the keep via the dungeons. Perhaps via the sewer? Hmm? Dragons reach Yarl's quarters. Okay. Alright. 
Yes, something to think about. Places to be for the moment, but uh, if I find myself back in this neighborhood again anytime soon, I expect I won't. But if I do, perhaps I should pay this keeper visit after dark just to teach the young lesson in etiquette. You there, wagon man. I require your services. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to Wind... Well, I wouldn't like to go to Windhelm, but I believe I might have to go to Windhelm in order to get to Modderwind. So, take me to Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, off we go, everybody. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. Windhelm's a bit... He always gets cut off, doesn't he? By the loading screen. Poor fella. Well, here's Windhelm. It looks rather like the frozen pile of rocks I was expecting, I suppose. Reminds me a little bit of Dunmer's Strongholds, only much less well engineered. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. And you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war. If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. Will you, you go away, woman? Shoo! Be gone! We got ways of finding out what you really are. <sighs> these gentlemen giving you trouble. We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. Uh, well, I'm looking for shipping, yes, but more like transport rather than shipping cargo. Looks like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Water yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Hmm, I see. Safe travel. I'll keep an eye on that one. Oh, oh, there we go. There's the Nord Master Ace, the best busy at work. Army, until I took a sword to the chest. Yes, couldn't happen to a nicer fellow. Right then, uh, docks this way, presumably. Oh my. I suppose this is the so-called Grey Quarter they were referring to. What an absolutely miserable state it's in. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll speak to Ulfric soon. But I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. My job? Well, I'm the Watcher of the Wheel, which is exactly what it sounds like. I watch the wheel. <laughs> I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. It's not really a haven, old boy. I think it's something they've decided to try and corral you all. I must say I don't particularly like it, but at the same time... There is a sort of poetic justice to it, isn't there? Not that I've ever cared much for justice. Anyway, less time spent here the better, frankly. It's just depressing. Why are there so many dark elves in Windhelm, anyway? Miserable place to come and live, if you ask me. Watching the wheel 
Yes, I can imagine Fathis, you know, can see the almost the irony and the humor in this, because when he originally turned up in Morrowind, even as a Dark Elf himself, he was treated as an Outlander. <laughs> and with nothing but scorn for a very long time when he was there, so, you know... There's a part of him that obviously feels very deeply about the uh, the fate of his people, particularly once he sort of took on the mantle of Nerevarine and all that sort of stuff. Um, as over the course of the Morrowind main quest, he became a lot less selfish and a lot more interested in the fate of the Dark Elven people. However, yeah, there's a certain irony, isn't there? Uh, hello! Captain Gyalin does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Ah, oh, jolly good. Uh, which one of you is Captain Garland? You? The Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. No, I suppose not. You're doing actual work, so you can't you can't be the captain. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. I don't suppose you'll go any further than Solstheim, will you? How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Yeah, so I've heard. Well, why are you saying that sailing there at all, then? They still pay me for supplies and passage. And I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yes, here you go, is it gold? Um, <clears throat> you've got yourself a ship. But we'll cast off immediately. My god, what's happened to the bloody place? Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. Such Just as it is. Be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Yes, you're telling me. Are you sure you didn't take a wrong turn and take me to Molag Bar? Oh. Bloody hell, that was a bit weird. <laughs> what the devil's happened to the place? Why is there ash everywhere? I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intention. Quite to the contrary. It's none of your damned business. That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. But I'll let it go for now. Just remember. Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will Double be expected way. to abide by our laws. Any questions? Skyrim. What a game. Uh, it's Raven Rock purely a Dunmer settlement these days? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. But the Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, but when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Why are you so damned suspicious of visitors? I mean, more than usual by Dark Elven standards, of course. I have to be. A second counsellor? The security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Has security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. Exactly what do your titles mean? I've never heard of something called a second councillor before. Councillor Morvain? House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A second councillor is my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. What's this city of Blacklight you keep talking about? How can you have Dunmer blood in your veins and have no knowledge of Blacklight? It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. <laughs> What? I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. The, the Argonians invaded Morrowind? And I'm going to, well, first of all, with this Blacklight thing, 
Right. We used to call it Bon Malheur back in my day, and it wasn't the capital of anything. It was a horrible place. And, and second, the, the Ar- I'm sorry, the Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. An attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Hail, Jolland. I really have been well, gone for far too long. Before you even ask, yes, I have the Apparently a lot can happen in a few hundred years. But... How many has it been? Two, three hundred? Possibly two hundred, I'm not entirely sure been damn difficult to pin down the date from anybody. Goodness, it's quite different. I recognize some of these old buildings. Not most of them, though. The place did have a wall. It wasn't quite this large, though. Hold on, perhaps I can get a better view from up at the top. Let's go. See what's going on, but I see an awfully large column of smoke over there. That doesn't bode well. That isn't what I think it is, is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? By all the gods in their infernal ingenuity. You leave the plain of Nern for two bloody centuries and Vardenfell flipping well explodes. I don't believe it. How did they manage to let this happen, the fools? The imbeciles.